Hello and welcome to Armored Controllers. This is Fabs and today I am playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. Absolute classic game for those of us who like Star Wars, which let's face it, is everyone. Because the only people I've met who didn't enjoy Star Wars were soulless people and communists. So there you go. So, I'm playing the PSP version, which has its own pitfalls and whatnot compared to the main versions. And let's see, as you can see, this game gives you so many different uh, Star Wars based battlefields to play around, including Polis Massa. Yes, that well known place. So, I'm thinking, might go for uh, Tanti 4, the um, blockade runner from the very first Star Wars film, right at the beginning. So, you Clone Wars, no. Go in Galactic Civil War, because that's the best Star Wars. Not that there's anything wrong with Episode 3, but you know, any, anyway, anyway. So, here we are, on board, and I'm obviously going to play as the Empire. I don't want to be part of a terrorist alliance. I believe in previous videos I have in fact gone off on one about how the Rebels are really just quite bad people who have a problem with authority. So, okay, playing as a Stormtrooper. I'm not short, I'm not too short for this, which is good. And I can in fact see around me, so the whole helmet, helmet issue is out of the way. Which is excellent. And, based on where I am, I'm hearing a lot of interesting noises, but uh, the fighting's nowhere near me. That's a bit disappointing. See, there's a dead body, I hear the crackling of somebody as they uh, get cooked to death by some kind of electric thing. That's really quite awkward. Okay, so, basically, the mode I'm playing, the basic conquest one, uh, the goal is you either A, wipe out your opponent by, as you can see at the top there, you've got uh, in blue and red the number of people to kill, um, or by capturing all of the um, command posts, as you just saw me do for one of them, and holding on to them for quite a while. So let's do this, shall we? Okay, and that's a terrifying thought. One of the um, rebel chaps is now Princess Leia. Because you see, you do well enough on as a, fighting as a foot soldier, you get the opportunity to play as one of the heroes. So you could be, um, you know, if you're playing into the Rebellion, you could play as Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Lit Princess Leia. Or, if you're an Empire chap, you might end up with Boba Fett, the Emperor, or, that's right, James Earl Jones himself, Darth Vader. I think Darth Vader is the um, character in this level. So let's, uh, let's hope I do well enough to get him out of for some fun. Okay, so, just uh, strolling around, doing very little. Wookiees, Wookiees everywhere. I've been killed by a Wookiee, that's one of the worst things ever. This is why you really can't afford to stay still for too long. Okay, so, all these different troops to play as. I'm going to switch to somebody else. The shock troop is no good because there's no um, vehicles here. The uh, sniper is horrifyingly difficult to use, I find. So let's, uh, let's try the Engineer, just for fun. They tend to do fun things like uh, drop uh, mines and grenades and such like. And have a slightly more powerful uh, pistol, I believe, than the rest. Now, of course, I mentioned earlier that I am playing this on the PSP. Um, this is does make this game quite a bit more difficult, sadly, because it is missing two buttons compared to the uh, main console versions. I just got killed by a Bothan. Those of you who've played this game will understand why I am so angry about this. Bothans are terrible, terrible people. In Return of the Jedi, when uh, Mon Mothma declares that many Bothans died to get the information, I cheer now. Because there is nothing more irritating in this game than to be strolling around, suddenly you notice that your life bar is draining swiftly. Oh, that's right. A Bothan killed me. Suddenly he drops out of his cloak and runs off giggling. <sighs> now, see the real sat there. There you go. There's Bothan madness going on there. You know, I just casually walk through a door. Next thing you know, I'm on fire. Yeah. Now, of course, Bothans being represented like this. I mean, they never actually appeared in the films, aside from the one mention I had earlier from Mon Mothma. Now, the fact that they've appeared as a playable race in this is well, it's fascinating. It just shows the whole expanded universe and whatnot. Of course, one of the real problems with the expanded universe is their tendency to take single lines or 
very small bits of information about a race and then decide right every member of these people is going to act in exactly the same fashion so Bothans die to get information they must be sneaky types an entire race of them Han Solo declares never tell me the odds and apparently now everyone from Corellia hates statistical analysis I don't get it either it's stupid so Empire won which means yay no more terrorists uh, so according to this end screen I did not do very well I wasn't didn't get any of the interesting awards sadly okay so it wouldn't be a Star Wars game though without some space combat so let's uh, let us fly above Yavin 4 I think do space assault uh, which works on a similar basis basically blow up as much as possible I'm gonna play as rebels now because x-wings are cool so with space battles you get a choice of two people the pilot and the marine pilot basically um, fairly standard yeah, I think they're slightly better at using these uh, crazy flying machines than others but what the marine does is um, you can fly your uh, ship into the enemy's battleship land and then from in there go mad start shooting all the people that come near which is pretty cool the marine is designed to make that part of the game just a, quite a bit easier so space battles then um, you have a choice of four different ships depending on uh, Empire or Rebellion or whatever the glass of, um, whatever the Bone Wars have you've got a bomber a um, an all-rounder a dogfighter and a transport now the Y-Wing here is a bomber what they're designed to do is um, basically take out the enemy flagship in this case here I'm fighting a Star Destroyer and um, win that way because you see um, at the top right or top top there you see them getting blue and red um, each well both myself and my opponent have to get 90 points to win they can get these points in many ways you can destroy uh, different parts of the battleship like so see as I'm just about to destroy the engines here there we are gain five points for that that's awesome you can get of course I get those points by shooting down enemy fighters and if you've uh, found yourself inside the enemy ship by shooting enemy pilots down as well which is kind of cool so of course each of these um, ships have got their own different strengths and that um, so the Y, y wing here is a bomber you know, completely useless in a dogfight it's uh, most powerful attack can't even aim you have to as you can see here there you are it uh, got, operates under a sort of dropped curve kind of deal which is kind of crazy wow I'm just crashed into the engine that's really clever of me so you want to aim then with the uh, bombers to take out the flagships because you're able to do the most damage to them and you do get quite a few points for blowing up um, different parts of the flag. As you can see, I've destroyed very little and 30 points already. So let's uh, have some fun with some dogfighting now. So I'm in the X-Wing, which is the um, generic all-round fighter. It's kind of good at blowing stuff up. It's also kind of good at fighting um, enemy, enemy starfighters. Of course, the um, best starfighter for the Rebels is the A-Wing but uh, I find that so ridiculously fragile as you know, all these starfighters tend to be so I, I don't really like using it massively so instead it's all about the, uh, the, the X-Wing for me so here I am locked in a dogfight with a TIE bomber piloted by W1800 apparently I don't know um, the regular guns aren't doing too well luckily though I can lock on with uh, the I won't say thermal bombs if I keep it on target for a while so you know being told to stay on target makes sense this time and it, it's pretty pretty fun playing as an X-Wing really because you know you get to pretend you're a big skywalker you get to do all the crazy barrel rolls as if um, Peppy from Star Fox is talking to you so let's see and of course their stupid Y-Wings got in my way what matters because JJ579 has been shot down now, as you can see, you don't get many points for shooting down ships. Oh, um, starships, sorry. That's because starfighters as a whole tend to be... They go down a lot easier, particularly if you're using a, um, a specialised ship like the A-Wing, or in the Empire's case, the TIE Interceptor. Uh, they tend to go down very quickly, so you don't 
and offset that by, as you can see, only four points. Whereas if you want to take out the, staff, the starship parts, they take forever. But you get a load of points out of it, so it's a trade-off basically in how you want to play this game, which is pretty nice. You can you can be a griefing dickhead and blow up the enemy's uh, main camp, or you can just have some fun shooting down some dudes. Pretty cool. Right, so. Of course, this being a Star Wars game, you are going to get the music. All the sound effects are, you know, the same as you hear in the, in the films. Because, in reality, there's no way they can really avoid doing that, is there? You can't have a Star Wars game without John Williams' music. It's, it's blasphemy. I assume this is at some point where, in the comments, somebody's going to tell me now that um, there was, in fact, a great series of them without any music derived at all from Williams' score. But never mind. Okay, so here I am in the Rebels. Um, oh, come over there. The um, what say, capital ship, flagship, whatever you want to call it. Basically, yeah, transport. Um, so if I can get myself into the um, Star Destroyer's port, as you can see in front of me, I can get my marine out and have some real fun. But one other thing about these uh, transports as well is they tend to be, have really strong attacks. And uh, actually, surprisingly good at uh, taking out enemy fighters. In particular, I found the um, Tadirium shuttle when playing as the Empire. That's really good at shooting down um, enemy enemy fighters because it's got a particularly powerful, uh, strong attack that homes in and is really quite helpful. Right, since I'm down here, I'm going to destroy the life support because I apparently, you know. I don't really care for the Geneva Convention, I'm just going to leave these guys to choke to death in space because I'm a sick bastard. Terrorist Alliance, my friends. Terrorist Alliance. And I've, I've actually managed to just park this in front of it and kept firing. Damn it, this, this is why you lost, Empire. First, first the Ewoks and now this. So as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, you get so many points for blowing up parts of the starship, you can't go wrong. Okay, so that has been Star Wars Battlefront 2. Please like and subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed this and uh, join me next time.